Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Parts Pool and Spa. How are you? All right, a lot of people have problems with this. I really do not discuss about um, heat pumps because you have to have a special license to teach about heat pumps. So all these people putting YouTube's showing people how to put um, um, gauges on and putting free on in and vacuuming and putting in compressors and TXV valves and everything else like that. Unless they got a teaching teaching license, ESCO or the government can go after them and it's a bad fine. Unless you have your teaching license and you're teaching to somebody that has a ESCO license or a Freon license, uh, you cannot teach to, okay? So all these YouTubes that are going out there with people showing people how to put Freon in and stuff like that um, and connecting gauges is really illegal, all right? I mean, I do show certain things, but I really don't push the limit, okay? I don't show you how to put the gauges on. I, you know, show you how they possibly may work. But um, uh, otherwise than that, if less of you have a license, um, you, you can't even connect up to a heat pump unit at all. It's a $40,000 fine, okay? All right, I got a lot of questions about Haywood heat pumps troubleshooting codes, codes that come up in the little display. And I just want to do a little blurb about this because this may save you problems. All right, the unit is blank where you turn on your um, heat pump on and the unit is blank. Okay, make sure that the unit has power. That's very easy. Or the unit itself, display unit, has failed. Unit will not turn on. The units have a five minute delay. So the minute you turn it on, okay, it has a five minute delay. You turn it off and you turn it back on. She will not fire up for five minutes. And that is strictly for the low pressure and the high pressure to equalize so the compressor can turn on without any back pressure. So that's why you have your five minute delay. Okay? So change color screen, I'll bring it back. Alright, PS. PS is the biggest fail function around. Check for water flow to the heat pump. The only way, and my website sells them, they come an inch and a half and two inch. Alright, a sweet spot for this heat pro is about 60 gallons a minute. Had a man, oh, about three months ago, swore up and down in the world. He had proper water flow. I asked him when's the last, what kind of filter he had. He said he had a cartridge filter. All right. I don't, I'm not a big fan of cartridge filters. But you got to change them at least once a year. Or if you got a big pool, possibly twice a year. These people that are going on YouTube's and saying, all you got to do is clean it and then you're good to go and things like that. No, you got to change your filters once a year. I know some of these um, what is it? The um, cartridge filter um, filters to replace some of the filters are expensive. Oh well, you got a luxury. All right, so to check water flow, the sweet spot to this heat pump is 60 gallons a minute. Well, without a water meter, 
that actually shows you how much water is bypass going through the heat pump. You don't know if it's 20 or 30 gallons a minute or whatever. All right. So PS is the big one. Clean the filter. Cleaning the filter, especially on a um, cartridge filter, could be clogged up. You're not getting the proper water flow. If it's been more than a year, I would take the filter out totally for a little bit, run the system, and see if your unit turns on. This is another big pet peeve of mine. A lot of people bypass. Okay. I have pros and cons on bypass valves on heat pumps. I don't think heat pumps should have a bypass valve um, at all. But on the other hand, some people do not watch their pools during the winter time. Um, guys may not like what I'm going to say, but if your pool turns green, you're not doing your job, all right? Um, either you yourself are not doing the job. I used to do pools for a living. My pools used to be crystal clear. There's ways to make ensure that. Ensure that the pool filter pump is on. That's no problem. Normal function for that's that display. All right. Turn off all fountains and etc. The reason why they're saying turn off all fountains is because most people plumb the fountains with water displays and they plumb it so it doesn't go through the pool heater. A number one is wrong because it robs water from the pool heater. A number two, if you have a water filter, um, water heater, say like a heat pump or a, even a gas heater, and you got a water feature, is to cool the pool down. Okay, so if you're running a heat pump, water features should be turned off. All right, this is a big pet peeve of mine, LP. I'm sorry, guys. You get an LP, your outside coil, if you're touching it and it's falling apart, and you're at a warranty, you're looking at about a $2,000 repair. All right, um, is the fan running? I don't know. LP, you don't know without putting on gauges and whatever. You can't touch a LP. You need to call a technician, right? High pressure is a real big pet peeve of mine. High pressure is usually lack of water flow. What is happening? Like I said, you like 60 gallons a minute, all right? You're not supplying the heat pump with 60 gallons a minute. All right, she, the high side is starting to creep up there, and she'll trip on high pressure. So usually if you get high, it's 98% of the time is um, water flow, simple water flow. Well, you got ball valves on the wrong way and whatever, and the unit's not getting water flow. All right, high water temperature and everything else like that. You need to call somebody. SH, you got a shorted uh, temp sensor. You need a um, a technician out there. All right, OP. Um, you need to um, get a technician out there. Eight 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 thermostat reset normally open. All right, turn off the unit. Turn off the power to the unit. Wait about five minutes, put the disconnect back in, and um, try it again. You still, you still got that OP, um, call a technician. 888, all right. This RHD is for remote control. Um, 
if you don't know how to just what I would do is disconnect your remote control and put the unit back into normal mode make sure that you have water flow um, if you you know and if she doesn't come back up you're going to have to call a technician but if you don't know how to put the unit back in, out of remote control you're going to have to um, call a service technician PST button is stuck you're going to need to call a service alright PNL alright call service cell okay yeah as you can see you can see all of these but these are these big pet peeves of mine PS is a big pet peeve of mine LP okay you see LP just automatically call a service technician and high is usually lack of water flow usually alright guys hopefully these um, codes are helpful to some people they are written on the front of the heat pump on briefly on what they are and what they do but I get a lot of calls. I do not answer people on heat pump calls. I re reference it to the book because I am not a teacher. But this is not really pushing the line. This is in a book. It's in your owner's manual. I'm just helping you read it. Okay. Again, do not play. Fool around. Try and put your own gauges on. Um, Freon gas, if you're not familiar with it, and um, well liquid, depending where you're tapping it off from, it is very cold. And you get a good shot of it in your eye, you got a strong possibility you're blind in that eye for the rest of your life. Okay, it is a cold liquid, all right? and it will come out and it will burn burn your fingers you'll lose skin whatever so if you do not want to know what you're doing or do not have a license you don't play with this stuff but hopefully this will teach you some of the codes that come up on this type of Haywood heat pro heat pump this is for the newer ones especially these codes down here. These are the normal ones. High, LP, PS, and this one. Remember the heat pump has a five minute delay. I also want to say about PS. Also want to say one thing about not PS, but when a heat pump is running, it condenses the moisture out of the air and it drips. I get a call all the time. My heat pump is leaking. And I go out there and charge the people $125 because the heat pump is functioning properly and it's condensing the moisture in the air on the coil and it's simply changing it to water and it drips. So if you got a leaky heat pump and you think it has a leak, what you simply do is turn it off for two or three hours and make sure that the leak has stopped. All right, guys. So hopefully this ends a lot of heat pump questions. Remember, if you call me up and ask for help on heat pumps, I will not answer you. I will refer you to your book or a Haywood service provider like myself that can properly diagnose the problem or a HVAC person. All right, guys, hopefully this will help you. Again, this is Harvey from All Parts Pool and Spa. Take care of yourselves. All right, summer's coming.
Winter's gonna be gone and out of here in four more months. Take care.